Hello, I'm Steve Follin, and in this week's Weird Week, the beer, the fear, and the weird. Jody Nelson was probably hoping to become famous for setting a stand-up paddle record. It was an impressive film on its own, a 40-mile journey off the coast of California, lasting nine hours. Impressive. But something's kind of stolen her thunder. A whale. Nay, Larry the Whale. A 30-foot minky whale decided to tag along for the journey, spending two hours hanging out with his new friend. Jodie says she gave the whale the name Larry and started talking to him as a way of keeping her sane. Sane? You're talking to a whale named Larry? A brewery has won the legal right to release a beer called... I can't actually say this. Can we write it on the screen? Okay. A brewery has won the legal right to release a beer called... After winning a battle with the European Patents Office, they were originally told they couldn't use the name as it was offensive. I know, can you believe those Europeans? But they've managed to convince the courts that actually, since it's made in the Austrian village of Fuking, and therefore is simply named after a place, well, surely it's okay. They got away with it. As for the hell bit, well, that's taken from the German word for lager, which is hellas. Uh, the company next hopes to set up a brewery in the lovely village of Vanka. Now, have you tried the pine berry yet? Uh, I think a lot of people thought this was an April Fool's, but it's not. It's a fruit that looks like a reversed strawberry, but tastes like a pineapple. It's on sale in the UK at the moment. Originally from South America, the odd-looking fruit faced extinction until it was picked up commercially by Dutch farmers seven years ago. Take a look at this solar-powered plane. It's taken its first successful test flight, climbing to 1,200 metres. It may be a tiny cabin, but its wings are the size of a 747, and they're covered in 12,000 solar cells. It's impressive, I, I think, until you hear that its average speed is 14 miles an hour. In fact, its top speed is only 28, which basically means it's a flying milk float. Keep an eye out for it above your street soon. What? <laughs> Oh, what's that? Fred's got a new milk float, yeah. He doesn't get stuck in traffic, but it makes a hell of a mess. Motocross madman Robbie Madison has been showing off again. This time he's completed a jump over a 278 foot wide ravine, during which he was 330 foot above the water. He leapt above the Corinth Canal in Greece by driving up a ramp at a speed of 77 miles per hour which is needless because there's a perfectly good bridge in the background there, honestly. What's that about? Pay the toll for the bridge. Somebody went to the effort of building it. Blokes trying to get their girlfriends interested in the beautiful game in time for the World Cup should look no further than this Barbie-themed football table. Sadly, Mattel aren't actually making this for you to buy. It's a work of art. Uh, it's actually quite disturbing as well, don't you think? It's like the cast of Glee have been made into a giant kebab using scaffolding. That's your lot. We're out of time. Get more from the Facebook group. That's always good. Uh, search for us there. And, of course, at newslight.tv. We'll see you for another weird week soon. I've been Steve Folland. <laughs> what? <laughs>